uh, we went to Radha Kund and this was the first time that I saw the, the banks of Radha Kund absolutely empty, maybe just one or two people on the bank. So extremely beautiful, quiet, and uh, very, very nice. Beautiful. Uh, Actually, very happy giant. to hear that. Mm. Yes. Just a, a few minutes ago, we were reflecting that actually some miraculous times, if you like, and one very special time for me at Radha Kund was actually the evening before I came out from India after living in India for so many years. And the evening before I came out, I went out on Parikrama. We did the whole hill. But when I got to Radha Kund and Shama Kund, it was so peaceful, beautiful, gentle. Mm. And I just thought that was part of the a blessing Jai. to make the journey to come from India. Absolutely. So I think actually every time we go, something special takes place when we go there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now we're with lots of devotees, uh, more and more devotees joining together and in good Vaishnava style takes a few minutes for us to come together. Oh, I see our hosts, the Infinity Media, are hiding on page two. They're normally <laughs> at the top of page one. So Infinity Media are hiding on page two, means the Thailand Sri Gupta Govardhan Temple. In the meantime, we can point out that here today, the sun is not shining. And so we have an opportunity to sit and not be dazzled by the whiteness, the brightness of Srila Gurudev's Pushpa Samadhi. We are here, as you know, in Vila Govinda, Italy, and this Pushpa Samadhi has come from, uh, the Samadhi itself has come from Jayapur, or near Jayapur, arranged by Amir Sindhu Prabhu, whose birthday it is tomorrow. Those of you who keep track of devotees' birthdays, and uh, <laughs> this was arranged by him, but beautiful, Pushpa Samadhi here. So Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda, Dev Goswami Maharaj here at his Pushpa Samadhi and we're sitting sideways a bit, not exactly <laughs> with our backs to Gurudev, but he can see you. We've got it. So Gurudev, he can see the screen. He can see all the devotees there. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> and now we have Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami oh. Maharaj. We see Maharaj very happy to have you here with us on page one. <laughs> now, Infinity Media has come to page one. Jai Om Vishnu Parshila Bhakti Sunda. Yes, Jai Om Vishnu Parshila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Parshila Bhakti Rokok Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Our Rupa Guru Vaga Ki Jai. And Jai with us here, Jai Shila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. Maybe with us or joining us soon, no doubt, Srila Bhakti Bhimal Abadut Maharaj will be joining us also. We are expecting. Ki Jai. Jai. And to all the very many devotees, Ki Jai. 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 And by the way, today we've been talking and we have correspondence from various devotees. And we're asking, oh, we didn't see you yesterday. And they say, yes, because we are working, but we are uh, seeing the... the uh, recording. So, as always, many devotees are joining us on the recording, and we're very happy to welcome mm. you also. Mm. And I know seeing a recording is almost like seeing exactly at the same time that it's taking place, especially for seeing it on the same day. Mm -hmm. So, a big welcome to everybody. And this is a miraculous age, <laughs> the miraculous age where only available to great yogis they can come and visit the dham from different places they can come and visit other devotees hear other devotees be with other devotees all over the world at the same time and really we must not take this for granted this opportunity this temporary opportunity in this world to be able to come together digitally okay digitally but really by heart and in the presence of each other here. Mm -hmm. So, um, we are, uh, first of all, only I am talking, <laughs> but we have lots of devotees here. <laughs> and uh, I just want to know from our organizers in Chiang Mai, what program we have lined up for today. We've got our shoes off. 
We're at the Pushpa Samadhi. We're ready, ready to, to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're asking you, what is our service? So first, can you hear me? Very quietly. Oh, so you have to fix the volume so that Maharaj can hear what I'm saying. Saying, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Is that any better? It's still quiet, Maharaj, but I think we can all hear if we sit in pin drop silence. No, that may not be possible in the down. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> No, Marge. And it's muffled also. It's quiet and muffled. Oh, oh a, little, a little louder sound came there. I know you have lots. Then form, then form, then qualities, then half time. <laughs> Hey Krishna. Hey Krishna. Govinda. Hey Morari. Hey Nathana. On the last day of the day. Hey Krishna. Vasudeva. Hey Krishna. 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 Antarva Hira Vasitam, Sri Krishna Krishna Patavishna Rishabhavani Guru, Hare Krishna. Any better? Well, it's Hello. less muffled, but it is not loud, Maharaj. It's still the same quietness. Sorry to say, I'd like to say yes. Yeah. Yeah. In a tunnel. Whose voice was that? That voice was loud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you hearing my Oh, Lynette, okay, no problem. We're happy. Oh, sorry, Leela Sundri, Dandivat Maharaj. Oh, oh Leela Sundri, okay, hiding behind the name of Lynette. Okay, Leela Sundri, <laughs> happily with you. Okay. I think it you need to. It sounds just... like a tunnel. Um, Goswami Maharaj's voice sounds like a tunnel. It does. It's a transcendental tunnel. There's something very valuable in there. We should explore. Srutadar, which means someone who, whatever they hear, they commit that to memory. And there are some persons, particularly in South India, they, they know the entire Srimad Bhagavatam. It's generally taken to be 18,000 slokas. So like we are talking about the book Bhagwat and the person Bhagwat, they're literally, in, at least on, in one sense, a walking, talking Bhagwat book. Right? So they know all 18,000 slokas. And Guru Maharaj met such a man when he was traveling in South India. So naturally, they're going to have a Bhagwat Kata discussion. So... Guru, so remember, 18,000 slokas, that's, that's a lot to be carrying. So Guru Maharaj said to him, in your opinion, who are the highest devotees? And also I would prefer to see on the screen, not myself. Yeah. 
like uh, see Madhusudan Maharaj, you know, like, thank you. <laughs> like when I handed the book Sri Guru and His Grace to Guru Maharaj and he took out his Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass and he said, oh, picture of myself. <laughs> so Guru Maharaj asked that man, in your estimation, who are the highest devotees? And he said, the four Kumaras, Chatushan. Right? And then in kind, he said to Guru Maharaj, and, and your estimation? Guru Maharaj said, they are in the lowest position. Right? And then with two slokas of the 18,000, Guru Maharaj established his position, which is always to establish the supremacy of Srimati Radharani and the Braja Gopis. This is the month of Kartik. We're on this Braja Mandal Parikrama, going to these holy places. It's all taking us in one direction, right? The holy Sri Radha Pada Amritam, the service of the holy lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur says there's what he calls the Barabahi and the Saragrahi Vaishnav. Barabahi means like an ass, you're a beast of burden, you're carrying this heavy weight on your back. So you think like that, 18,000 slokas, the weight, the burden of carrying them, but not understanding the essence of the, that Saragrahi Vaishnav who can extract the essence of the scriptures. Even Srila Gurudev told me, he said, I haven't read the entire Bhagavatam. He focused on what Guru Maharaj taught him, and which is what Srila Prabhupada Swami Maharaj studied, Saraswati Thakur, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, like that. So then Guru Maharaj, the way he made his case and offered his proof, Two slokas, the first one being Natata Priyatama Atmayonir na Shankara na Sankarsana na Chasri Naivatma Chayata Bhavan. He said, No one is as dear to me as you, my dear Uddhava. Not Atmabhu Brahma, Atmabhu, like so he's born from the lotus navel of the Lord. Uh, uh, no, Sankarshan uh, or Shankara, Shiva, Sankarshan, and you know, it didn't say Valarama, it said Sankarshan, so you can interpret it. But he said, So not my own brother, and Sri means Goddess Lakshmi. He said, No, none of them are as dear to me as you, my dear Uddhava. So he established the position of Uddhava first, and that Uddhava who we hear in the Bhagavatam uh, that Vidura, after he put his bow and arrows down, he like leaned them against the doorway and the wall where he was staying, just finished with bows and arrows. And he went searching uh, on pilgrimage, parikrama, like we're doing. Really, that's also what uh, Kirta Yatra is. And he, but we hear the real substantial thing to gain from the holy place is the association with the great devotees who are dwelling there. Otherwise, it may be some sort of a fantasy, right? Or our own imposition of uh, I experience, I exercise. As Madhusudan Maharaj has reminded us, repeatedly and shall again, quoting Guru Maharaj, saying, you walk with your head, not with your foot. And what does that mean, really? Is the head, that's the highest aspect of ourselves, of the general, you know, uh, uh, in a literal sense. And saying, take the highest aspect of yourself and submit it to the lowest aspect, which is the ground of that plane. Right? That is the principle. We're taking the highest part of ourselves and offering it in submission to that higher plane. And under the guidance of the superior devotees, 
We want to awaken the Navadvip I, the Vrindavan I, the Govardhan I, that can have some glimpse of the Dham. The Dham na sena sadhana rastakua kam. Krishna can reveal something there beyond what we see visually. So that uh, uh, Vidura, he's searching the holy places and he comes to the lotus feet of Uddhava. And he knows that Uddhava is the intimate associate of Krishna, his advisor. Uh, always Uddhava and Krishna together are consulting one another what they should do in some situation. We hear in one instance that uh, they're talking about some diplomatic settlement and Balaram's there with his club listening to this. And he goes, why all the talk? I just take my club and smash them on the head. And they're going, yes, Baladev, yes, but we know we can call on you for that. But, you know, so Uddhava and Krishna, they're always intimately connected. So Vidura wants to hear news from Uddhava about the, um, all the, the Yadavas and Krishna himself, and he's inquiring about everybody. Uh, he wants to know how they're doing, how they're faring. And there's a certain thing he doesn't really want to hear. So he keeps naming great devotees one after another and asking Uddhava to give him some news about them. And we're told just by hearing the question that Uddhava, he went into a deep, trance and remembrance of Krishna Smaranam and it awakened this uh, uh, fire of Krishna Biraha. So in separation it says that he actually went to the divine abode of the Lord by this remembrance and he was stunned. He actually couldn't speak. He was so deep in the upper world that he lost all consciousness of this plane. Just being asked Right? As we know, when Bhaktivinoda Thakur was asked, can you say something about Krishna? Just hearing that, he went into some deep state of ecstasy and fainted and fell out of his chair onto the floor saying, you want to hear about Krishna Nam? So uh, after he's uh, uh, regained his, this is that same Uddhava, we're told, when he was a child, his mother, when he was like five years old, his mother would call him from play, like to come and take breakfast, but he wouldn't come because his play was like Krishna Leela being lost in the divine pastimes of the Lord. He had no hunger. And his mother saying, you know, Uddhava, come for breakfast. No interest. <laughs> Again, he's drinking some deep, nectarine, peculiar nectarine substance. So anyway, when he descends from the Lord's abode and returns, uh, we're told in the Bhagavatam, the pure devotee, for them, the, uh, it said, like a, a, uh, an intoxicated person is sometimes in the stereotype, unaware if their coat is on or off, their clothes are on or off. So it's a, the, the, such pure devotees, they're unaware if their body is on or off, their external form. So he comes back to this plane and he's controlling himself and he's saying, oh, Prabhu, what can I say? He said, the son of this world, Krishna, the son of this world, Krishna, has set in our house has been devoured by the snake of time. That's the thing that Vidura did not want to hear. And then Uddhava trying to uh, um, give some comfort, uh, comforting words to Vidura. He starts recalling the different pastimes of Krishna. And one that as and just as we we were at Govinda Kunda and we heard about Indra, so and and 
one verse, he says, Yanmarchi lilo paya kam svayoga, mayabalam darsha yata grihitam, vishmapinam svasya chasobhagarde, param param bhushana bhushanangam. He's saying there were those who were overwhelmed with their own opulence, meaning like Brahma Vimohan Lila, the Indra, uh, what we just talked about, uh, and the Govardhan Puja. They were uh, proud of their own opulences or their own situation. And then he says, even uh, Vaikuntha Narayan, right? and there's no more majestic person. Saying even they are irresistibly uh, charmed by the unparalleled beauty of Krishna, the you know achintya guna swarup of Shama Sundar Krishna, right? The Lord, even Dwaraka Krishna, is uh, enamored by the beauty of Vrindavan Krishna. So he says, param param bhushana bhushanangam. He's the ornament's ornament. Right? And as a way of saying, whatever you bring in connection with him becomes more beautiful. Right? The, we see in this world, when they want to market some product, that um, they, they hire a supermodel. So the supermodel who looks uh, so beautiful, then you put the dress on the supermodel or the particular handbag or some paraphernalia and then everyone thinks how look at that paraphernalia how beautiful it looks but they're using the beauty of that person to enhance those things but here what is the case of krishna and saying brahma becomes beautified coming in connection with krishna and the heart of brahma the heart of indra and saying even narayan of vaikuntha his position is enhanced by drinking the uh, beauty of Krishna. And then uh, Uddhava says, and what to speak of th this sort of thing, he said, uh, Krishna is so wonderful and so beautiful and charming. He said, Shishupal hated Krishna. He, they, they say when Shishupal was a baby, that, you know, when they're just first learning to talk, they're saying the first words that ever came out of the mouth of Shishupal was an aparad toward Krishna. You know, and they go, oh, the little baby's getting ready to talk. He said something offensive about Krishna. <laughs> Just the opposite of what we would hope for. Right? This is working? Okay. Magic wand will be over here. Right. Magic wand of the lotus feet of Krishna, Guru Maharaj says. But so that's Shishupal, who hated Krishna, Uddhava saying, but by that hatred, he went beyond what the Paramatma yogis desire, because he was thinking about Krishna 24 hours a day. He's saying, so what those yogis aspire to are through hatred, Shishupal got that. And those, um, how do you say, warriors, the, uh, on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, he's saying when they uh, saw Krishna before dying, and he said, and who did they see? Nayana Abhiram. You know, the most beautiful thing your eyes have ever beheld. And they got liberation. So he's going through a list. And he's saying, the enemies of Krishna, Look at what sort of uh, good fortune came to them by this, the Bhushana Bhushanangam, the Krishna coming in connection with him. You become uh, beyond beautiful. And that's when he's, that leads up to the verse where, he, so then he's saying, Aho! Aho means, oh, he's an aho baki yam stana kalakutam jigam saya payaya dapya sadvi. Le begatim datruchitam tatonyam kam va dialum sharanam brajema. Now he's giving the most extreme example. Putana, Rakshasi, sent by Kangsa, right? The wizards, they're so popular in the modern world, wizards and. Uh, What's the female wizard? Huh? No, but something nice, like Wizette, you know. 
<laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, so they're being sent by Kangsa. So, and they're, uh, what do you say, shapeshifters. They can change their form. So uh, Putana, she, is, she becomes this beautiful, buxom uh, nurse. Like the system is, other girls other than the mother, they can nurse the baby. So Yashoda and Rohini, they're engaged in some kind of Krishna Kata and see the beautiful teenage girl, like, oh, yes, and she's like, where's the baby? Oh, everyone always likes to show their baby to everybody, let them spend a little time with the baby. Oh, he's over there in the nursery. Oh, all right, you two, sorry to interrupt your Krishna Kata. You know. And Putana Rakshasi comes in, and we're, Krishna's so young, he, he can't really see yet, although he's omniscient. Another one of his playful positions, who is omniscient, all-seeing. Sarvatak panipadam tat sarvatokshi shiromukam. He sees, her, but he, he can barely see because he's a baby. And then she takes the baby, and she had anointed her breast with datura, the poison. So then Krishna starts suckling the breast of Putana, and he sucks the poison, then and he sucks some milk, and then he sucks her pran, her life airs, and she's struggling, and she's trying to push him away from her. And then she starts, she assumes this form, we're told this is like, uh, say, 10 kilometers in size. And uh, she's saying, leave me, child, get, leave, get off me. And, and then she falls backwards. And then Krishna, like on a, you know, a soft cushion, trampoline, the breast, he lands. And the bridge bosses who are simple-hearted folks are saying, oh, how fortunate we are that she fell backwards. Then, you know, they think, if she'd fallen forward, she would have crushed the child. We must have done some pious activities in our past lives that we're so fortunate that she fell on her back and Krishna's there laughing and giggling. And then the, the Jnana Shunya Bhakta, you know, the bridge Bhati ladies, they're coming with cow tails and, and you know, like, Om Vishnu Namaya Namaya, you know, they've got to protect Krishna. <laughs> and they're still like that. That's what's also interesting. We know nearby where they're, you, uh, I, I keep thinking you're actually there because I think you actually are. <laughs> it looks, I don't have my glasses on, it looks like you're in uh, Uddhava Kund and, and Govardhan. <laughs> But you see the ladies there, the, they still have that simple-hearted, pure uh, nature. So they want to protect Krishna. So, uh, and that was the verse that uh, Mukunda sang in the presence of Pundarik Vidyaniti to bring him out, right? Uh, before Gadadhar Pandit, so he could understand the depth of the type of Krishna Prem that he possesses. Because then the verse he's saying, who is a more worshipable Lord oh, you know, uh, than Krishna? Kambadayalum sharanam brajema. Right? It, it, Pur, Putana came with murderous intentions. Right? And he, she achieved the position of mother, of nurse, like she was totally liberated in this lila. He's saying, so if that's how he treats his enemies, then what to speak, if you were just neutral, right? Because that would be better than being inimical. Vishwanath Chakrabarti makes this point. So if, that means Shanta would achieve a higher position than that. And then what to speak of some, rever uh, some dasyam, and then sakyam, friendship, vatsalya, familial affection, what to speak of conjugal. You see the sequence. So it's not merely uh, uh, you know, a random collection of anecdotal uh, tales about Krishna, but it's revealing the science of devotion to us in the process. So... That 
Uddhava, uh, after Krishna has certified him as being the highest devotee, that was the first sloka, and the second sloka, so now Krishna certified Uddhava, then what comes from the mouth of Uddhava? Right? Uh, the second sloka. We know that when the Braja Gopis are feeling too much separation from Krishna, uh, separation, as we told, the, the zenith point, Kurukshetra, uh, we're after 100 years of separation, and this pastime with Uddhava, being sent with Krishna, by Krishna with a message to assuage the anguish of separation in the hearts of the Braja Gopis. Um, um, that, what is it? that um, they, oh, this is what I wanted to say. The comparison of union and separation Gurudev, in Religion of the Heart, this book published by Sri Bhakti Premik Siddhanti Maharaj and talks of Srila Gurudev on, and Gurudev's veranda in Calcutta. We're looking at the book and, and you know, I said, Maharaj, I was very happy. To, and I said, there are things in here that are not even found in Charitamritam. And Gurudev looked at me, he said, I know, he said, Siddhanti Maharaj, you know, and I said, yes, Maharaj, you know, he, you gave him the right name because when all was said and done, that devotional heart of Bhakti Premik Siddhanti Maharaj was extracting from you the highest sort of substance. He knew it, he could recognize it when he heard it, he could recognize it when he saw it. And what I was referring to, we will hear that in Charitamritam, what is Mahaprabhu doing behind closed doors with Srup Damodar and Ramananda? We told, and myst mysteriously and in uh, incredibly, in front of the Ratiyat at the Ratiyatra in front of Jagannath, he's saying all these deeply intimate personal things, but no one can understand them except Srup Damodar and Rupa Goswami. But we're told the last twelve years of his life behind closed doors. He's uh, in the company of Ramananda Roy and Srup Damodar. They're reading Gita Govinda, uh, Jagannath Balavanatak, um, Krishna Karnamritam, Krishna Nectar for the Ear, and the songs of Vidyapati and Chandidas. And although in Chaitanya Charitamritam, you'll find a couple of slokas from Gita Govinda, a few from Jagannath Balavanatak, uh, um, some from Krishna Karnamritam, and maybe one from Vidyapati when Mahaprabhu is at the house of Advaita Acharya and saying and singing like, now, you know, I've got you. You know, Madhava's in my house today. How happy. It's after a long time of separation. Song originally from the lotus mouth of Srimati Radharani herself but nothing from Chandidas. But in Religion of the Heart, there's this song about Shamanam. And there it's revealed, saying that the, this uh, principle to understand, that no amount of union will ever satisfy the hankering of a devotee. In other words, they're always left in a thirsting, hungering position. Right? No matter how much association they have with Krishna. They never say, oh, that's enough. Never. They're always left thirsting, you know, tattva lolyam mulyam ekalam janma koti sukriter na labyate. Lolyam, always hankering. They're so addicted to Krishna. So, the, uh, and so how do they perceive union? We're told the rasa lila, uh, Krishna, t uh, uh, orders Yogamaya to assemble a yuga's worth of knights. Right? Not just one knight, but a yuga's worth of knights for that night. Right? The, even in the modern love songs, they talk about, you know, the, they wish this night would never end, 
or that it would go on forever. They're expressing these kind of sentiments. That's the night of the Rasa Lila. That's that romantic night that never ends, that lasts forever. So we're told, it lasts for a day, a night of Brahma. Sahasra Yuga Parjantam Ahur Yad Brahmanovidu. What is that? A thousand Yuga cycles. So that means four billion, three hundred million years. That's the duration of the Rasa Lila. And what happens at the end of the night? The, and, and, and the aftermath, Radharani and Braja Gopi are saying, it was like the blink of an eye. What happened? Right? This is in the Madhya Leela, where Radharani is saying, oh, Krishna was here and vanished like, like a moment of lightning. Uh, I was, and I was attacked by my eyes flooding with ecstasy. And, and, and my heart was overwhelmed. So what shall I do? Jagannath Balavanatak. I'll worship time. Next time Krishna comes. So you see, she's got the puja. She's going to worship time and say, Time, you sit here and I'm worshiping you and, and offering the, the flower. And then, then when time is very happy and propitiated, she said, Then I'll turn my attention to Krishna because I've got time sitting, you know, in a chair, placated. Such sweet, beautiful, divine madness. Right? This is what was being relished in the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, that union of a uh, night of Brahma, like the blink of an eye. And then what does it say in the Gopi Gita? Atati yad bhavan anikananam tutir yugayate tamapashyatam kutila kundalam srimukam jate yada udikshasam pakshma kriddasam. That the Braja gopis, who are very nice girls in Vrindavan, they're very sweet and nice and they are very religious and they follow everything and they never insult anyone and they're the you know, nicest girls you could ever hope to meet or serve. You know, and they're, they're saying, what's wrong with Brahma, the creator? He's an idiot. You go, oh, how, how dare you say that? And say, he doesn't know how to create things. Why do you say that? Because he made eyes that blink. What is he? He's a fool. Right? These teenage girls, they're cursing. The, you know, Brahma's a deity. He's one, you know... Uh, the uh, Guna avatars, right? So, and why are they saying that? Because when we're, our eyes are, you know, Nayana Biram. Nayana means I, Abiram. Krishna is the personification of eye beauty. They're saying our eyes are drinking the nectar of Krishna's eye beauty, and then they blink. And it's intolerable. Sometimes Radharani said, I wish. I, I had eyes like a fish that are just always open right, to drink the nectar of the beauty of Shama Sundar Krishna. So they're cursing Brahma like that. And then what do they say? So remember, in union, the night of Brahma, 4,300,000,000 years, like the blink of an eye, it went by. And now what are they saying? The blink of an eye is like a day of Brahma. The blink of an eye is like a yuga of separation. Right? Sahasra yuga of separation. So in this way they're showing separation is more intense. Inconceivably, it is more intense. And when the pressure of separation is placed upon the heart, the heart goes into its deepest, the deepest region of the deep heart's core and yields the most superior type of Krishna Prem. And at that time, Srimati Radharani and Braja Gopis, they may, like Gurumar said, have volcanic eruptions of ecstatic emotions and expression. Just as Mahaprabhu, that golden volcano of divine love. Remember, a volcano, this is not some gentle thing. Right? What is a volcanic eruption? It blows the cap off of the top and then hot lava comes streaming out. 
That's the example Guru Maharaj is given. Right? How intense is that? It's a uh, volcanic eruption of the heart of Srimati Radharani. And that's what Uddhava witnessed. That's what he saw. He's delivering the letter from Krishna, which the gopis just took as an insult. Because right? in the letter, Krishna telling them, um, uh, because they're feeling separation, he's saying, well, you should uh, uh, take a yoga class and uh, learn how to meditate because God is everywhere. <laughs> and the gopis are saying, what? God, what? What are you, a Hindu? You know, we're not y uh, y uh, yogis or jnanis. We don't do yoga. We're not jnanis. We're gopis. We, you know, we milk cows and we make butter and yogurt and these things. You know who we are and you know what we do. How can you be so cruel to make these suggestions? Right? And you say, God is everywhere. We're not interested in that, uh, you know. Uh, with all due respect, Paramatma, they were not interested in Vaikuntha Narayan, right? And even Dwaraka Krishna. So they're saying, like, what kind of Krishna doesn't have a flute? Really? Come on. And the king, the crown, and all of this, that's not our Krishna. Our Krishna, he always is playing the flute, he's Shama Sundar, he's on the banks of the Jamuna. So, the, the, uh, they can't tolerate that this other type of Krishna will not satisfy their hearts. So that's why they want to take him back to Vrindavan. Right. So when Uddhava is delivering his message uh, from Krishna to the Brajagopis, and, they, this, and then we're told, Rat, Srimati Ratarani, she spins off in divine madness and she sees the Brahmar, a big black and yellow bumblebee. Right? We've seen them. They're like, you know, they're really big and really black and have like yellow rings around them. And, <laughs> and she sees, she's now in this divine madness described there and and it's the specialty of Srila Guru Maharaj. We're not going to speak about this, maybe get one little part, because we can't, we couldn't if we wanted to. But it was Guru Maharaj's specialty, and we know in Vrindavan that Ban Maharaj made a bomb shelter in his ashram, all right? <laughs> An underground bomb shelter. So sometimes Ban Maharaj Krishna's Babaji Maharaj and Guru Maharaj, they go down in the bomb shelter for like Hari Kata. Oh, and there's a bomb. Thank you. <laughs> a bomb just went off here. Some fireworks for local... Uh, well, they're celebrating this, what we're doing here. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so... And Babaji Maharaj, when, so they asked Guru Maharaj to speak about the Brahma Gita. And Guru Maharaj is explaining... And Babaji Maharaj was so satisfied and he started to laugh and smile and he said, the irony that they're having the highest talks in, relatively speaking, a lower place, I mean, it's Vrindavan, but the lowest place, meaning underground. So that, the irony of that was not lost upon Babaji Maharaj and that made Srila Ban Maharaj, Bhakti Hridoy Ban Maharaj and Guru Maharaj laugh that that was Babaji Maharaj's, um, one of his takeaways from hearing all these wonderful things. And so, and how significant this is, is that if you read in the Antya Leela of Charitamritam, remember, last 12 years of Mahaprabhu's pastimes, this is what he's doing 24 hours a day behind closed doors with Srup Damodar. And Ramananda Roy, it said, it will say there, at, he's repeatedly mining, it says, the Uddhava Darshani. That means when Uddhava came to see Radharani, that means Brahma Gita, is what it means. It's a code, in a sense, a codified way 
of saying Brahma Gita. And, and that is just divine madness. And as I asked Guru Maharaj to, if he would speak his uh, Gayatri explanation, and the day came along, and Gurudev um, did, uh, I, like he said, oh, I think today will be the day, and we got Guru Maharaj to speak. So I asked Guru Maharaj if he would speak on the uh, Brahma Gita, and he told me he would, but like I could see it, time, it may not happen. And so I once, I learned from Gurudev ways to get Guru Maharaj going in a particular direction by talking about one thing and then another thing a little nearer, 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 and then he can see where it's going and decide if he wants to pursue that. And so he did. And all I can say is this, that what Guru Maharaj said is uh, beyond comprehension. They were just fragments of divine sentiments that are inexplicable, they can't be explained, they're incomprehensible, but they're very intense and they're represent representations of the deepest sort of ecstatic emotions. That much I can say, but I can't explain it. Like Gurudev sometimes saying, good for, like these slokas from Gita Govinda, good for chanting but not for telling. <laughs> you know, like, Lalita Lavanga Lata Parishila Nakamala Malaya Samire. Maru kara bi kara karam bita ko kila kujita kunja kutire. Very nice for chanting, but not for telling. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. I just know the the beauty of what is there and the sound and Gurudev so much like that and Mahaprabhu so much like that. So it's there that Srimati Radharani has this volcanic eruption of heart. And Guru Maharaj said, that is what forced Uddhava to give the following recognition, seeing her and her servant, and he said, Asamaho Charanarena Jushama Hangsham, Brindavane Kimapigu Malatosadinam, Yadushtajam Svajanam Arjapatam Jihitva, Bejur Mukunda Parivim Shruti Vimrigyam. He's saying, oh, my asamaho, my aspiration, churanarenu, asamaho churanarenu. Uh, he said that um, he wants to become a blade of grass or a creeper in the soil of Vrindavan so that when Srimati Radharani, Radha Padman Kitadam Vrindavan Jaranam, Vrindavan is the soil with the imprints of the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. When she's moving there in the plane of service and the Braja Gopis, some of the dust from her holy lotus feet may come upon him. Abhishek, Rajo Abhishekam, Pada Rajo Abhishekam, a Pada Raja Abhishek, and thereby consecrating his existence. And he's saying, because what do they have? Shruti Bir Vrimrigyam. What the Vedas are only are searching for, or at best, pointing in the direction of. They've got that thing, right? And only they can give it to others, right? They own Krishna. Krishna belongs to them. Only they can distribute Krishna, right? So he's saying, uh, I know, and Chakrabarti Thakur is saying, Uddhava is thinking, if, if I tried to take the dust directly, they will never give it. Although they were naughty, what they said about Lord Brahma, that's true, but they're generally very well behaved, uh, humble gopis, uh, teenage girls. So if some VIP, uh, how do you say, dignitary devotee of the highest order like Uddhava goes to a teenage gopi girl and said, like, give me some of the dust from your... They said, what are you, mad? That's offensive. It'll be a great offense for us to give the... Uh, uh, you are worshipable. We're told when Uddhava showed up, he wears... Krishna gives him his clothes, 
Like sometimes, you know, we have a good friend and say, here, have this shirt. So when Uddhava showed up and he's wearing Krishna's clothes, they're thinking like, wow, he looks a lot like Krishna, you know, and especially in that outfit. <laughs> so um, they, they, he knows they will never give it to him. So he's thinking, but I must get Gopidas, the, the Padaraja. So how could I get it without them? Oh, if I became a blade of grass in the soil of Vrindavan, then unknowingly, when they're moving in that chinmoy soil, uh, decorated with the impressions of the lotus feet of Radharani, then I can get some of that dust. Right? It says, Bande Nanda Brajastrinam Padarenum Abhiksnasa Yasod Harikato Gitam Punanti Bhuvana Trayam. And those uh, Braja gopis and their singing of the glories of Krishna is purifying everyone and everywhere and everything. So with these two slokas, Krishna, uh, Srila Guru Maharaj, he established the supremacy of Srimati Radharani and the Braja gopis. And we see, and we'll see later when we visit Sanatana Goswami Prabhu, Madam, that in his Briyad Bhagavatamritam, it has the same ending twice. Right? Which means this sloka, asa, it moves from uh, all the different levels and stages of devotion until long at last, from the mouth of Uddhava, we hear this aspiration to, and what does Guru Maharaj say? What is it? Think of it, Uddhava of Dwaraka, who's really a Sakya Rasa, Vatsalya, he has connection with Sakya Rasa, Vatsalya Rasa, and Madhura Rasa. Right? But to put it in uh, context, the, this high level Sakya Rasa devotee from Dwaraka aspires for a Shanta Rasa position in Vrindavan. How exalted as a soil and uh, uh, and uh, Guru Maharaj quote Das Goswami say, Yat kin chit triguma ki katamukam goste samastamitat sarvananda mukunda doita lilanu kulamparam. And even the, the, so if you consider the, the composition of the soil of Vrindavan, Das Goswami saying, the blades of grass are worshipable personalities. The insects, the bee, that bee who's flying, we'll never know. Is it Krishna or representative of Krishna? Radharani treated in both ways, right? As representative of Krishna, but perhaps even Krishna himself, who's come to witness the, the, the depths of the madness of her Krishna Viraha, her separation from him. So Das Goswami says, even the soil in that plane is worshipable to us. So that Uddhava, and this is Uddhava Kunda, and there's also another place which uh, we should, and disregard the Uddhava Kyari, which is where this well is and where he actually met with them, but we can take, he's expressing this aspiration. And just to conclude, with this, that uh, Srila Guru Maharaj, uh, he is a qualified per <coughs> person to do Nirjan Bhajan, like the Goswamis. <clears throat> He's actually qualified for that. But he knows that that is not uh, approved by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He wants the devotees to preach. So after uh, in the aftermath of Sri Gaudiya Mat, Srila Guru Maharaj, he's wondering which way to go in his uh, final days. And so what does he do? He goes on Braja Mandal Parikrama in the month of Kartik, he goes to Vrindavan right, in 1940. Right. So just like this, he's there visiting all these places as we're visiting. And he's thinking, he's, he's praying for the divine inspiration. Where should he uh, settle and spend his final days? Uh, and it, the first place it occurs to him is Uruv Kyari, 
the place where this Brahma Gita was spoken. But then humbly, Srila Guru Maharaj thought, Vrindavan is for the highest section of liberated souls, as we thought, if even the blades of grass are so worshipable. Then he thought, but, and he considered Puri, and that's like a double dose of the same. What's going on here at Udavkari? It's what's going on behind closed doors in Jagannath Puri. See the two places that Guru Maharaj is deciding between. But then he thinks, the, we're told the non-liberated, they will get their fortune in Navadip. So then he makes his way toward Navadip, but see how cautiously and systematically and perfectly at every step of the way Srila Guru Maharaj moves. He thinks, even before going to Navadip, I cannot enter Navadip on my own. Like we, we cannot enter these holy places out of our own desire, but following the order of the higher Vaishnavas, if it comes down from that plane, then it can be a meaningful experience. Otherwise, I exercise right? tourism. So, Srila Guru Maharaj, what does he do? He goes to Eka Chakra, to the Nitai Bari, the house of Nityananda Prabhu, Hadai Pandit, and Padma Bhitti, where Nityananda Prabhu appeared. And uh, <clears throat> there, and that deity, Srila Gurudev, uh, in uh, Sevak Bhavan in Kolkata, where he spent his uh, disappearance pastimes, on his wall was this beautiful picture of the Nityananda Prabhu deity. Because at first, I, I, out of the corner of my eye, I thought it was Mahaprabhu. And, because he liked the, and then, the Hare Krishna. <laughs> then uh, Gurudev said, no, Maharaj, it's Nityananda Prabhu. And I said, oh. And he said, you will never see a more beautiful Nityananda Prabhu. And I was looking and sort of nodding. And then Gurudev, he looked at me again more intensely and said, Maharaj, I'm telling you, you will never see a more beautiful Nityananda. Right? He was like very serious about it. Right? So that's where Srila Guru Maharaj went, paying Shastanga Dandavat and praying to Nityananda Prabhu saying, you are Patita Pavan. You give shelter to the most fallen. So please give me shelter and entrance into Navadip Dham. You're the Dham Eshwara <coughs> of Navadip. So I am Patita, you're Patita Pavan. Please give me shelter there. And up to this point, Srila Guru Maharaj was hesitating to initiate and sending everyone, like Swami Maharaj's sister, to go Swami Maharaj, the Prakrita Bhakti Saranga Goswami Maharaj. So this inspiration came in the heart of Srila Guru Maharaj. Nityananda Prabhu was saying, but you do not give Patita shelter because he was not accepting disciples. And Guru Maharaj, oh, and saying, so if you will begin uh, accepting disciples, giving the fallen souls shelter, then you can uh, enter Navadvipdam. So in that mood, humbly, Srila Guru Maharaj, and then when, where does he go in Navadvip? Does he search on the map for the, the number one place and try to secure uh, a, a position there? Uh, like Srila Gurudev and Govardhan, he, uh, you know, a very humble position. <laughs> I can't say exactly, you know, but a very humble location he chose, right? And then, and wanted to not uh, uh, diminish the prestige of the established uh, Giriraj. And so he's thinking, will one little Giriraj we will have? But we say, just like in Seva Kunj, he ends up, uh, you know, he tries to go on the outskirts of Vrindavan. Rupa Goswami has other plans to put him right next to his samadhi in Seva Kunj. Here in Govardhan, he's saying, one gir small Giri Raj we will have. They're digging the land. And, uh, and our Anu Giri Raj, ironically, he's 
weighs like, you know, a metric ton, right? But his name Anu means junior or small. <laughs> so he's huge. <laughs> but Guru Dev called him Anu Giriraj to like Giriraj Jr. To say, showing some respect to the, the famous Giriraj, Giriraj, Giritaris that are already established in different parts of Govardhan. So Srila Guru Maharaj, now he's entered Navadip. And where will he establish his mat? The Aparadha Banjanir Pot, the place where all the uh, Aparadis are forgiven their offenses. When we started promoting Srila Guru Maharaj, and many started responding and joining the campaign and coming to Navadip, some counter propaganda was uh, being promoted and saying that to uh, assure others, saying, well, anyway, don't worry, because they say, you know, many devotees are now going to Navadip and taking shelter at the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat and the lotus feet of Srila Bhakti Rakhak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. But they say, oh, don't worry, it's only Aparadis. They're all offenders. So it's a good thing. So all the offensive people are being removed and they're taking shelter, so we're good. <laughs> so this was brought to the ear of Srila Guru Maharaj. They said, Maharaj, they're saying that all the devotees coming here and taking shelter of your lotus feet here at Chaitanya Saraswatma, they're all operatis, they're all offenders. <laughs> and Guru Maharaj said, yes, they've come to the Aparad Bunzanera Pot. Uh, and he said, and, and, and soon Mahaprabhu will forgive all their offenses and give them everything. <laughs> So that was his response. And in that mood, he established Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat and declared it is Gupta Govardhan, Sri Mat Chaitanya Saraswata Matabara Udgita Kirtir Jayasrim. Right? Vibrat Sambhati Ganga Tata Nikita Navadipa Kola Adri Raje. Adri Raj means Giriraj Govardhan. So he's saying, this is Gupta Govardhan, and across the road is Sri Govinda Kunda, Hare Krishna. And we have heard all these things at the lotus feet of Srila Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. So we, I see Keshavananda Prabhu and our Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj. We send it back to you there uh, at Uddhava Kund. <laughs> All right, Maharaj, we were at Udavakund, and I can also share with the devotees that we've actually been with Goswami Maharaj there at Udavakund. Oh, look at this a view yeah, from above. Yeah. Oh, with <laughs> many devotees there also. But we've been there when Srila Goswami Maharaj has been speaking and with peacocks in the tree behind oh. him and walking in the area just behind where he was sitting. So today we are also feeling, remembering that very much. And in Thailand, each morning, early in the morning, almost every yeah. morning when I was there, you could hear the peacocks uh, yes. in Thailand from the Gupta Govardhan temple. Another yeah. reminder of Govardhan and Vrindavan. Yes. So now, Maharaj, I need to just ask your wish what you'd like to do. Uh, it's a quarter to the hour, and well, we... Yes, Maharaj. No, you can continue speaking. Well, well Maharaj, we have... Uh, the plan for today in general was to continue all the way around to uh, Radha Kund, Shyama Kund, and back up the other side, the side of the hill with Kushum Sarova. I think we should do that tomorrow. All right, Marsh. I also am thinking that because we've had a beautiful sitting. And actually, one thing about this parakrama, actually, we can go on many days on this parakrama. <laughs> we don't have to limit it as we yeah. may do when we're yes. there. Which is another because advantage. sometimes when we're there, we're like running because we're trying to do these things within a limited amount of time and before the sun goes down and... 
so we're like, you know, fast forwarding. Uh, so you're, uh, what you say is correct. And I think th this for today, this glorification of Uddhava and Sri Uddhava Kunda and tomorrow, the Radha Kunda, Shyama Kunda. All right, Maharaj. Then can we invite the devotees there in Chiang Mai to lead uh, Kirtan? Yeah. I think it's yeah. also very good for us to have Kirtan while still at Uddhava Kund. Mm. And that we do, yeah. of course, yeah. sometimes. Where is, is Suganda Kanti and Nalini still there? Can you see uh, yes, them? They yes, oh, they are. Yes, Suganda Kanti is here. Ask yes. them to do because they waited a long time. I okay, want to hear very good. Very so good. Saying man. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Yes. And then. Tulsi, Maharani, one verse, and then we'll sing a song and conclude. Oh, you need to unmic. I need to ask to un. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. You've got your microphone open. Go there Very and help her. Yes. Please chant. And be happy. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada. 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai 
Jaya Jaya Gopeshara Vrindavana Maharaj Jaya Jaya Krishna Saka Bhattu Di Jaraj Jaya Rama Gata Jaya Rohini Nandan Jaya Jaya Vrindavana Basi Jata Jan Patni Jaya Naga Konya Gaon Bhakti Te Jahara Pwele Govinda Charan Sri Rasa Mandala Jaya Jaya Radha Syam Jaya Jaya Rasa Lila Sarva Mano Ram Jaya Jaya Jala Rasa Sarva Rasa Sar Bara Kiya Bhave Jaha Brajete Prachan Janava Pada Padma Kori Asmaran Dina Krishna Dasa Kohe Namo Sankirtan Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Paribhaja Kachar Jasutara Sadda Shri Shri Mahad Sobhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goshami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Sula Bhakti Rakhak Sridhar Dev Goshami Maharaj Ki Jai Bhagavan Sula Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ki Jai Jai Sabarikar Sri Sri Guru Gauranga Gandharva Govinda Sundar Jiu Ki Jai Jai Sri Guru Gauranga Gandharvika Giridhari Jiu Ki Jai Sri Giriraj Govardhan Ki Jai Sri Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai Namacharja Sri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai 
Sri Urabha Ki Jai, Sri Paramananda Puri Ki Jai, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasati Gaur Bhaktivrindi Ki Jai, Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath, Shama Kunda, Radha Kunda, Giri Govardhan, Urabha Kun Ki Jai, Vrindavan uh, Dham Ki Jai, Navadip Dham Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sri Gupta Govardhan Ki Jai, the villa go in the key die. Uh, Ganga Devi Jamuna Devi Bhakti Devi Tosi Devi key die. Om Vishnu Pad, Vishpa Varena, Sri Lesi Bhakti Vedanta Shami Prabhupad key die. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat key die. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, a charge of Brenda key die. Dai Sul Bhakti Nirmal, charge of Maharaj key die. Dai Sul Bhakti Pavan Janardhan Maharaj key die. Dai Sul Bhakti Kusum Asram Maharaj key die. Dai Sul Bhakti Vidai Tripakram Maharaj Ki Dai Dai Sul Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj Ki Dai Dai Sul Bhakti Bhimalabhadut Maharaj Ki Dai Sri Kesvananda Prabhu Ki Dai Sri Bhakti Lalita Devi Dasi Ki Dai Seva Vrinda Ki Dai Samaveda Bhakti Vrinda Ki Dai Nitai Go Primanande And all the And all Seeing all those devotees, you know, woo! Oh, you just turned it off. Let it stay for a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, you see, Nalina Nayana Devi Dasi, Sri Lake Didi, Vinod Bihari Das. Who we see also Govinda Nandini. Who else? Devashish Prabhu. Indu Lake Didi, Praneshri, Pandita, Rasamoy Pandita, Saraswati Devi, and UK, Nityananda Ram in Colombia, Sri Hari Das in Brazil, Janvi uh, Devi and uh, Maheshwari. Is Sandeep's belly here tonight? No, not tonight. Indu Muki. Vrindavan Chandra, says Shakira, Ananda Srup Das, did I miss anyone? Nityananda Das, Sulakshana Devi. Oh, Bijai Krishna Prabhu, Kamonacho, <laughs> in London, Vira Chandra Das, another Saraswati, Dhananjaya Chaitanya Moi in Italy, Hare Krishna, well, Suchitta. Yeah. Dhyanatharani Didi, Ajita Krishna Prabhu, oh Ajita Krishna, yeah, he's always on our parikrama. <laughs> and where it says Pro Saraswati, who's? Oh, from Lakta. From Lakta. And there's Madhavi Lata, Hare Krishna, Dandavat. Oh, really? Yes. Ishwari, Dandavat, Hare Krishna. Well, so many. My Dandavat to everyone, Banchakopa, Tribhyascha, Kripa Sindhu Bevata, Patitanam, Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo, Namo Namaha, Hare Krishna. Nalina will ask you to say something tomorrow night. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Dandavat, everyone. Dandavat.
Anyway, our Dandava to all the devotees. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place at Srila Gurudev's Pushpa Samadhi in Govardhan. And Nityananda Rambra, well, good to see you. You're looking very healthy. The Jagannath Baladeva and Subhadra right behind you. Beautiful. And Dayavati, now you've shown your form to us. Also very good. Happy to see you. All of you in Vrindavan Chandra Prabhu. I know you're homeless. Now I know for sure. Because you're always in your car. So there you are. And Harimati Didi beside you there. Jai. And to all of you. One by one by one. By one by one by one by one by one. All. Our Dandabats. Affection. Support. Ah, look, Harkif also, we've got Naraini, Kamala Sundari Devi Rasi, Radharaman Prabhu in Kiev also, Bir Chandra Prabhu, Madhu Chanda, Brajavala Devi Rasi, Madhurananda Prabhu, just upstairs here, he's somewhere nearby us. Brishikesh <laughs> Maharaj, Dandabat. He's there too. All of you, our obeisances. I don't want to press the go button, but somebody has to do, to do it, don't they? Okay, Shilaka Devi Rasi. Good to see you looking very relieved. Jai Guru Dev, Jai Guru Maharaj.